What's up, Niger family? It is Father's Day here. So, um, it's bittersweet for me today. Um, I'm so blessed to have all of this wonderful men, great strong men around me. But I'm also very, like whenever June comes and we're celebrating Father's Day and all of that, I am a little sad it makes me a little sad because uh, I just miss my dad so it's been about like five years now since my dad has um, not been here physically and so um, it's been it's been tough like he was a great father he was a great father to me to my siblings and I know my siblings will back me up on this one like my father was the greatest optimist that you would ever meet or that I've ever known, period. Like, I miss those days where I could just um, call him. Like, it almost feels like there was never, like, it, the word impossible didn't make sense to him. <laughs> like, literally didn't make sense to him. Whatever it was that you said, whatever you needed, wherever you needed some type of encouragement, even if we kind of already knew, like, this is not possible humanly speaking he always found a way to hold out hope like there was it, it was just amazing like sometimes you just need hope and he was always there to do that and so it's a lot harder now like i have this moment where i'm just a little down and i just need some type of encouragement i think of him all the time ever so often oh but it's been pretty hard and um it's, it's bittersweet but I'm also so grateful that I have all of these wonderful men around me. To my um, husband, I just want to say Happy Father's Day. Thank you for being a role model to our kids. Thank you for loving on them. Thank you for raising strong, beautiful children. Thank you for all that you do for our family. And uh, to my amazing father-in-law, I just want to say Happy Father's Day to you. You're awesome. To my brother-in-law, to my brothers to all of the wonderful great men out there i hope that you all feel truly appreciated and that you have a very special day enjoy your day today and um yeah so uh, guys i made some delicious father's day pepper soup mm -mm -mm. so yeah i made some fresh fish pepper soup today and we're eating that with yam and palm oil guys i'm taking it all the way back Way back, lean back. Yeah, so anyway, um, I can't wait to go inside after the kids are done getting all that energy out because, yeah, after that pepper soup tonight, they're gonna sleep good. Hopefully, they eat it, it's very spicy. But I, I have faith in my kids, I've raised them well <laughs> on the spicy life. We're, we're, we're the spicy family, anyway. Um, I just wanted to come out and just um, talk to you guys for a little bit, and I'll see you guys. When we're munching on that deliciousness. <laughs> Alright. Turn it to an ocean. Let me float around. Eyes closed, eyes closed. Like we're dreaming even when we're not. But you and me got a whole lot of meaning. I don't know how. But you and me just know how it feels when we're falling. So, are you guys ready for the challenge? Yeah! You know what the challenge is? <laughs> what is the challenge? Um, What's the challenge, Cardi? You know? Well, okay, let me tell you what it is. Um, if you can eat this pepper soup without showing any sensation of pain, like you can't go <laughs> or anything like that, if you could take at least three spoons, I have a prize for you guys. Okay, are you ready? In this house, it's a yes. dollar. Well, a dollar, yeah, that's big money for you, right? Is that big or small money for you? <laughs> okay, try it. Kayla, wait. Ready, set, go. Oh, like that. That's good. Kayla, not the yam. <laughs> uh oh, Kai, I'm about. Uh, did, did I just see a sensation of pain? <laughs> no. Almost. Almost. But you got it together. Woo, look at Kai going. That's my boy. That's my boy. Good job. Kayla, let's see what you can do. Three out of three. Yes. One, 
Ooh, girl. Two. Ooh. Girl. Ooh. Nija. 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 Do you like it? You like it a lot? <laughs> but it's spicy. I'll get you water. So, okay, Kai, you can, you can eat. You can eat now. I just wanted to see that part. Did I get a dollar? <laughs> yes, you do. Me both too. of you. Yes, both of you actually get a dollar. Ooh, Kayla, I think you actually like it. Is, is it spicy? It's not spicy? Not even a little bit? Kai, is it spicy? Not even a little bit. <laughs> not even. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I see you guys. I see you. Mommy, you didn't give us a dollar yet. I'm going to give it to you, okay? I promise. I give you a dollar. It's a dollar. Hey, I'm rich. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, that's cool. Two thumbs up. Wonderful. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, look at that. And guys, if you're wondering <laughs> what happened to my earrings, the ones I was wearing earlier, I have no idea. I think I lost it. It dropped somewhere and I just, I don't know, probably got lost outside. But yeah, that's what happened. But well, guys, who my daughter destroyed that soup. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of her. She destroyed, like when I say destroyed that plate and she had three helpings of pepper soup. Record breaking. <laughs> like she ate and she asked for the second plate. She asked for a third plate. I was like, because <gasps> she doesn't really eat that much or yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think she likes a lot of the Nigerian dishes. She, yeah, she likes it. And I keep teasing and I say, when you come to Nigeria, oh, grandma's gonna love you because you eat a lot of those Nigerian foods very well. But yeah. But so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food. And um, after that, I'm gonna do some story time with the kids. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys be a part of it. Like I love those African tales, like those tales. Nigerian tales, African tales, whatever the tales like. So um, we just kind of use it as chill time. And I love it because it always has like a moral lesson. So and the kids, they like it too. So I want to gather your family around for my story time. Um, that'd be good too. But anyway, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you're notified when I post and uh, until I see you next time I remain that Nijak girl see ya Chinenye. once upon a time there was an orphan girl named Chinenye Chinenye had no mother or father and so came to live with her uncle and his wife in Kechi and their two daughters Chika and Chini Auntie Nkechi and her two daughters did not like Chinenye and were very unkind to her. Chinenye's cousin Chika and Chini were very lazy and did not do any chores around the house. Instead, they made Chinenye do all the chores and gave her little or sometimes no food at all. Sometimes Chinenye was asked to leave the house when Auntie Nkechi and her daughters were about to eat some delicious food. And then they would call her back to clean the dishes once they were done eating. Meanwhile, before Chinenye's mother died, she had given her daughter an agbalumo seed to plant and take care of. Chinenye was instructed by her mother to always sing to the seed as it was no ordinary seed. So Chinenye planted the seed and sang to it every day. And the tree grew and grew and grew and had lots of fruits. So anytime Chinenye was starved by her auntie, she would go to her Balamor tree and sing this song. Ready? 
plenty of fruit for her to eat and when she had eaten to her satisfaction she would take some of the fruits to the market to sell she had lots of people buying her fruit because her agbalamo fruit were the tastiest in the village Bread and apple. so yes and so from the money she made she was able to save up for herself unfortunately for auntie Nkechi and her household they fell on their luck and became very poor and they struggled to eat in an attempt to feed one day, Chika Chineye's cousin went out and sang to the Agbalamo tree, but the tree did not produce any fruit for her. This is because the tree was a magical tree that only recognized Chineye's voice. By selling Agbalamo fruit in the market, Chineye became very rich and, her, and branched out into other businesses that brought her wealth. And she also became the provider for her relatives, even though they had not been very nice to her. The end.